ko geresnis oras tuo daugiau noro, ką nors nuveikti. Peržiūrėk Luminor pavasario pasiūlymus. Luminor.lt. Tik kovo 20. Balančio antrą dienomis.
prep station. There was we go. That why? Yeah, because yeah, we were in prep station, not in live. Do not enter. Uh, we messed up. Okay, we can uh, we can dip out then, and hopefully it stays stable now. All right, now I need to go lineups. Wait, not lineups. I think lineups. Bye, guys. You can hear me on the stream. I'm gone now. And hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, can stream hear us? Yes, they can. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, perfect. I've really viewed the stream. Okay. Then, um, well, welcome to uh, CBS versus uh, uh, Troglodyte. Um, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, We're in the final roughly. week. We're in the final, final week. It's been yeah. fun. That's exciting. Uh, it will be uh, good to see how these uh, teams compare. Of course, for Troglodytes, it can affect the standings. But for uh, CBS, I think no matter the result here, they end at the top of the table, right? Yep. And what do you think? Are they going to play it for fun? Or are they going to try hard and just go 9-0? Uh, well, I mean, I think they want to go 9-0. They uh, did say in the lobby chat that that was their plan. Um, also, I need to quickly update the score because Struggledites is 5-3. and three. Um, Now, uh, wait. Uh, they are not starting yet. But yeah, uh, I mean, I played for Struggledites uh, up to week 5, I believe. And... Um, like they're not a weak team by any uh, by any means. So if CBS doesn't play their full strength, we could see a spicy series coming up today. What is CBS's main strength, Sibba? What do you think? What, what, uh, how do they win games most? By lane, by Drakes, by macro? Like, where is their striking point? Well, to be honest, I wouldn't be able to answer. I think they're pretty good as a team. Um, and in their games against um, against uh, support diff, their main rival, they just like brought out meta power picks and picks they seem comfortable on. I think individually they're probably better than most people as well. So uh, they're just in general really strong. Have you, have you guys switched it over? Uh, switched what to? Think about. Oh no! I'll do that now. Uh, also, uh, I wasn't made aware, but we're now in pick ban, uh, kind of scuffed, but we see a Zyra ban from CBS, which makes sense. Shuxi is a, uh, renowned Zyra player and really enjoys it. And the Yoni player, well, Yoni ban on the other side. Well, I wouldn't expect usual, let's say, LCK or LPL bans here, but it would be interesting if we saw some, uh, let's say meta comp and see how... CBS or Troglodytes perform on this. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what AD Carry is playing, to be honest, because the whole meta now is about Zaya and Jinx and, and getting those fed in the head, right? Uh, and we see an Amumu ban targeted at uh, Timzy, who is playing jungle. Of course, uh, Troglodytes not being in pick order uh, for preference reasons. Um, but yeah. Uh, Bot it's a bot centric meta, so maybe we see some AD carry bans or we just see them trade AD carries. Well, as there are a few, let's say, OP ADCs, I think teams can just trade because it's, uh, well, most of at least solo queue players know that uh, more often than not, AD carries are pretty much the same, you know, similar mechanics. It's not like some d different mage types or different, you know, bruisers or anything. So they can, you know, swap between yeah. ADCs pretty easily. So I don't think there's going to be much issues except for comfort. Yeah, it's unless you're picking something like Aphelios or Samira, it's not really mattering that much. Yeah, and or, or see... Vayne. Or Vayne. <laughs> and we see also... a Teemo pick. Wow, Blind okay. Blind Blind Teemo. Teemo. So, they're uh... playing for fun, no? Yeah, I think, they're playing. I think they're playing for fun. Uh, you know, it would be funny. Bad thing. 
it would be funny if they drafted in an order that first letters would spell troll. You know, like first pick oh, Timo, yeah, yeah. second pick Renata, and so on and so forth. Hero, actually, nah, that would be BM. It would <laughs> be would funny be... if they went like Timo singed Twitch Cassiopeia, and then like another person in the place poison. Let's go full toxic. Oh, uh, that would be cool. But we see a Nautilus reply and uh, a Malphite reply as well. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, quite interesting. And Tarek hovered okay uh timo is supposed to win the malphite lane uh, am I right? um well yeah he can and could bully the lane but uh it's just too easy post six to gank timo yeah if, even if, even it. because uh, even the shrooms uh won't really matter because uh it will get sweeped it will get dodged and uh okay Malphite tools once, Timo flashes once. Malphite ult will come back way before Timo's flash. So Timo will never be able to push after six. Unless yeah. he kills Malphite five times before level six, then like top lane is over. And we see a Zaya hover. Maybe they lock it in. I I'm excited for this because Zaya is the best AD carry into something like Malphite, where you just press ult when he ults. I feel like it's a good snipe away. But I'm, it also could be banned because you could be leading into a Cho'gath Tarek lane, and that seems pretty unplayable as well. Well, it can be a bit difficult for Zaya. She has no built-in sustain and doesn't have really much access towards sustain. As she's building Mythic and then into Navari Quick Blades, so she's not gonna get any life steal anytime soon. So it's gonna be interesting. Is it gonna be? Maybe it's Cho'gath in, in mid lane. I have mm. no actually uh, no idea actually. It can be Tarek in the jungle and Jogath Sana bot lane a bit later on. It's a uh, in interesting draft so far from CBS. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think they are playing a bit off the book here, not really taking it too serious, but they do seem to be able to put in a coherent team comp maybe with this. With Tarek Chogas being able to frontline everything. Whoa. Well, but they they do need some damage too, so I guess Senna yeah. is working here fine with his bot lane. Well, I don't know, CBS can come up with any sort of... Uh, I wanted to say nonsense, but I think it's not nonsense if they are undefeated. Yeah, no, I think, uh, I think they have every right to pick these ballsy comps if they need to. Uh, we see Talia. Okay, so... A clear front to back comp, even though you have a Malphite, but uh, it seems like Troglites uh, are fine with just counter picking jungle um, in this game. Also, the Vi ban, uh, a really good ban because it's the only jungler that doesn't work into Zaya. And um, it also really works really well with Talia, so it's a good ban here. I see Nyla being picked. So. Oh, it's, it's Nyla Tarek then. It's Nyla Tarek, which is, I know it's a really annoying lane to play against, because in my scrim circle, I keep playing it. He keeps losing, but laning is so annoying with it, but uh, that is definitely a uh, more different uh, bot lane than, we, than what you're used to. And is this Zed jungle with Cho'gath, Teemo in the solo lane? Uh it seems like, well, I can't think of anything going... Well, except it's Cho'gath, Nyla, Botlin, but and Terra going jungle, but I think it's that jungle. It's still viable, I believe. Yeah, it should work. We see Nunu being picked. Okay, well, that's uh, definitely exciting. Troglodytes um, are playing for fun. Apparently. Oh, it's, it's interesting. apparently. It's interesting. I don't think they're playing for fun. If you're picking Nunu in this meta, where you can spam gang and clear pretty reasonably, it's not uh, not a bad idea. I I would, I would definitely prefer uh, Troglodytes' team comp here though to play because it's a lot more traditional and it feels like it's a lot harder, a lot easier to execute with Malphite than Nunu. Well, except one thing that uh, for Talia it's really hard to play. Well, ah, never mind. It's a jungle. What, what am I talking about? Or it's Timo. It, it's Timo jungle, though. No? It's it a Timo jungle. Okay. Well, 
I mean, it's still a difficult lane to play, but in team fights, when you just get Nautilus ulti, uh, you can just W on the Nautilus R, and you get a free stun combo. Um, that should be really nice uh, to play with uh, as the Talia. Because it's basically your makeshift Vi. Oh, uh, Sunday Cup isn't streaming the client, apparently. So let me do that. Okay. Then we can watch along. Um, now, let's quickly go to the pregame uh, screen and quickly do the Chrome thing, refresh, and let's see if that works in OBS. Um, oh, pregame. Yeah, we are in pregame. It's not showing the runes. Uh, I guess we will see them in champion select. Um, but uh, yeah, what do you a bit more about the draft? Um, Timo jungle. Does it work in the first place? I have no clue. I have never seen Timo jungle in my games, honestly. We will maybe once, and it was a theft at fifteen. I yeah, think. I mean, uh, about it. Well, unless they're trolling us and some, you know, they're role swapping or anything. But actually, troglodyte's composition, that's, that's where, what I want to talk about, since they have a ton of uh, roaming potential. They have Nuno with, uh, with his snowball, they have Thalia with the wall, also Nautilus will rush boots, I believe. And mm -hmm. uh, once we hit like fifth, uh, like seventh minute mark, we can start to have some action like 3v1s, 3v2s, like there, there's going to be some... Not some, there's, there should be a lot of skirmishes initiated by troglodytes. Yeah, it, um, I do think that uh, they have a lot of the tools to shut down uh, the that bot lane as well. Myla Tarek, like, once they are caught in a 3v2 or a 4v2, unless they have ult up, it's really difficult to play out. And Nunu and Talia can roam so easily, and Malphite has that super easy go button, even if he decides to roam mid or a uh, bot. So yes, Mal Malphite can impact uh, the game in a way where he doesn't care about CS as much. He can lose lane, he'll still be Malphite. He's still gonna walk up and press R. Yeah, he, he just wants to get level 6, he wants to... And that's his game, right? Hit level 6, don't care about items, press ulti on people, get your Zaya fed. Yep, pretty much. And also, now when I think about Nyla when she can dodge auto attacks, there isn't much auto attack damage coming from Troglodytes. There is basically all spell damage. Even Zaya's most damage comes from feathers. Yeah. So even if Zaya, even if Nyla does activate the Jax E, as I like to call it, you still uh, uh, have your feathers dropping, and then you root them and you half shot them, and you can block auto attacks. But if you're CC'd, it doesn't really matter. You can't return anything. Well, uh, we're now loading into the uh, going into loading screen. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, oh, did it? Oh, please work. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me go back to OBS. Game. <laughs> uh, turn off that. Oh, we're loading in. We're. we're... Uh, it's on go. stream now with the overlay. Yes, with the overlay. Um, going to quickly press tab. Ooh. Interface. Where is it? Say? Scoreboard. Scoreboard. Yes. Um, okay, well, uh, we see a... Um, we see a five points happening where they're trying to cover for invades. Both teams just wanting to take it slow. Um, and they they don't have uh, none of the teams have much tools to play for level one. Well, except uh, Nautilus Hook, but other than that, there there ain't much. We see a pause though, seemingly on well, it's on Troglodyte side. I hope they're okay. Okay, they they seed. I. I I don't know. Uh, do do we keep uh, all chat on on stream? Oh, I I'm gonna keep it on. I'm gonna <laughs> if there's PM, it, it would be funny. Uh, right. the game is slowed down for us. Did they unpause? 
Okay, game is bugged because nothing's happening. In... Okay, now it seems to be working. Ah, nope. Nope, it's not no, working. No, it's working now. Ah, now it's, it's working. working. Oh, okay, cool. Pause hack, yeah, Fnatic pause hack. Oh, we see a trade. Malphite fucking Comet and Mana Flow. Uh, maybe it's actually a good time to look at runes because we see Comet uh, on Malphite in a Malphite lane uh, with Mana Flow. Um, this is a really uh, uh, trade. It's like a trade style lane where normally in a melee matchup you ting, tend to take Grasp. But here you just go Comet. He gets it again, so that's 50 mana at the start now. And that's a health advantage for top lane. He's stacking it. Uh, also, could you press O right now so we could see items in CS? There oh, yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, now we're gaming. Now we're gaming. Uh, let me quickly do the order as well. Yes, no worries. Yes, we're, now we're it's all we're ordered. Gonna, and we're going to see junglers. And yeah, it's it's Timo, Timo in the jungle. And both junglers are starting bot side. Uh, it's interesting for me. Because I think Nona would love to gank bot lane first. Except, I'd... well, maybe they want to... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys in top lane, chill. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's top lane, right? So you just spam abilities on each other, wet noodles. And Nyla Terra getting level 2 early, taking a trade. A trade just everywhere. Yeah, they, they, they ain't chilling. Yeah, I know. And, uh, yeah, the, the, this lane, mid lane goes as expected. The... Uh, Talia gets the push early. Oh, stun lands. That's a trade. The NDV2, and the hook, hook lands onto a minion. So Shuxi has to cover his ADC. Another dash forward. And now level 2 by Biscuit Holic. He uses but heal. For flashes forward. Will we see first blood? Yes, first blood for the island. No, 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 no. Coming no, no. in. Two, and two for one. There will be a double kill for Timzy is running after Little Sparrow. The root, the auto, and another kill. 2 1. Towards the troglodytes, and uh, is it gonna be a solo kill in top lane? Flag oh available. Laners. This is a disaster. Oh, no mana and minions. Oh, it's not good. Now I don't think it's happening. Down. Now he's getting yeah. chased down, and Timo is gonna sandwich him. Timo is gonna sandwich him. Timo jungle that's... incoming. Yeah, Ooh. that's a death. You auto auto, and Anxiety gets the kill to to get the score back to even. Yeah, I mean. A bit of a chaotic sequence there. Um, no sums on Bali now, apart from the Nyla Ghost. Um, a bit of an interesting summoner choice as well on Nyla, saying I don't need flash this game. I'm just gonna use my E as my only uh, dashing ability. Is so, it? Is it? A, is it? Maybe it's a new account, so that's all he has. has yeah, like um, no. there is a there is a tech even where in like heavy CC lanes, so if you play against like Ash or Leona as Nyla you would go Ghost Cleanse. And it, it sounds super sure, right? Because Ghost Cleanse is the classic Disco Nunu strat, but um, it's actually a viable summoner choice uh, for bot lane Nyla, at least. Okay, and now we can see that Shruxi is only level 2. And the lane is, and bot lane is getting frozen. Mm, I mean, uh, if, we, if directed camera would know how to properly show lanes... Oh, we see a mid lane gang coming in. And oh, directed camera is fucking up again for us, but Nunu is cruising he's, he's around. And oh, is he gonna die again? Uh, the knockup will land, uh, one more auto, yes. and Chogat gets one kill to his account. Bot lane is looking for an all-in. I, I can smell this all-in. Stun lands onto both. They ask what, will he dash in forward? A couple of autos. Feathers will not land and uh, still in the mid lane. And Zed will die King Timzy with second in this game. Solo killing as well. You know, that fight went on for a long time. He was chasing and... in circles for, for quite some time, yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh... But here we see there's a 1k gold lead now growing for CBS, so... Uh... It's all in the kills in top lane now and in the farm in bot lane. Bot lane being 10 CS down uh, is is a mild hindrance, of course. Um, and the lane is still frozen. They cannot yeah, walk up to the wave. You need to ping Nunu to come here, just break it. Um, yes, and Nunu is top lane, so bot yeah. lane. Oh no. It's so, it's so sad to watch. 
Oh. Okay, the hook. Will the feathers land? One more auto. Feathers land. Ignite is on Little Sparrow. But the autos cannot land due to Nyla. Yeah. Nyla looking for 1v2, basically. Timo. And here comes Timo again. The auto, yeah. the blind, the kill for uh, Yasuo. And now Nyla has to back away. Ghost was used in this exchange. And now we're closing in on 2,000 gold lead with... Zet actually was hovering maybe to dive this poor level 3 Nautilus. Yeah, it's just a free dragon here for CBS, and it looked so good in the beginning, right? Them getting the two for one on the bot lane plays, but Zaya didn't get any of the the kills and then didn't crash the wave, so without wave being... Ooh, a stop all force used by over here. Uh, will it end up in the kill? Cho'Gath still has flash, but if the Q goes out, Cho'Gath dies, he still has TP, so that's not nothing much to worry about, and actually... Uh, Zaya gets most of the wave even after dying there. Yeah, it's like I said before, uh, with that wave frozen, that's telegraphs, right? That there's a gank. Oh, we see yeah. a oh, gank from Teemo I... onto mid, but it's Teemo jungle, baby. Doesn't have anything to gank with. <laughs> yeah, unless you're way overextended. I'm also surprised that uh, Cho'Gath didn't decide to flash away with Malphite not having flash and not having ult. There's no way to die there if you flash away, so... I if think a bit of a greed. Yes. If you flash the ult, or even after the ult, if you just flashes away, Ooh, the Q the, the W does there. land, one more auto. I guess it will do it. Yes. The shadows of Zed kills Kdianas. Yeah, we'll be here. Oh, no, no, in the middle again. again. Well, well, it'll it'll be a kill. Oh, oh, the no. Shadow and one auto away. Now the hook lands, but it's a level 6 Nyla who goes in. And Biscuit Hollow, he has no sums. Uh, he'll just used in this exchange. Will we see dive? Uh, Timo is coming right up, and I guess Nuno will be there to cover as well. The wave crashes. Well, the wave soon will crash, and Little Sparrow, he has ultimate. Will we see Cosmic Radiance? But Nuno is walking in from look, behind look, here. Look, yes, look at the ball. The ball is coming, and the Cosmic Radiance is used right on time to turn. And will King Dimsy can... Oh, the, the Wobble, the Wobble, the Talia. This is a whole team fight. This is still, like, winnable here, because you, oh, you get the root on the Teemo. I would... It, it doesn't matter, Biscuitholic dies, and they have no more damage. Another kill, King Timsy dies, but the root and the shutdown goes to Kriana's Finally, the Nylon dies, but the, 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 the fight is still not over. We still have a 3v2. Will there be a dive? Shuxi has 10 HP and 5 mana left. They want it. They want this kill. <laughs> the Leah left him it. to die. The Leah left him to yeah. die. I mean, Mohirin has ult. Mohirin has ult. I, th I think that's a kill. It I, uh, depends. If you get nommed here, because nom is up, like you'd have to wait for him to nom a cannon or something. But I think that Cho'Gath just knows, oh no, that's yeah, a nom. Now, now Malphite dies, I think. Yeah. Yep, Nom and a whole the sweet juicy wave dies. And it just you're you have a team fighting comp, right? And you're not able to fight at this stage. You have Zaya with behind the items. Yeah, just gonna dash in. The old, the ignite, a bit of an overkill, but still third kill goes to Garglon Inc. Uh, it's the not The carries are too fed. The carries yeah. are too fed. Like three one Z. 3 2 Nyla, 2 0 Timo, even 2 1 Shogath. Yeah, Kianus wasn't, wasn't uh, respecting the shadow there and the ability to kill. And I mean, this is kind of smart by Timzy if he goes to clear the wave, but he can't really. Um, wave will now push into Talia, so it ends up being relatively okay. But. Oh, we dash forward. Here. We see engages on two sides of the map. Hard steel being completed for Cho'Gath, so that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's probably another kill unless he flashes away. Trades. Oh, the, 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 the hook lands, but can he do anything with it except for losing his HP? Doesn't look like Biscuitholic. One more auto. But there is just too much sustain on side of CBS bot lane. Oh, the, 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 the bite is up. The eat is up. Yeah. Couple more autos and yep, Malphite is being eaten once again. I mean, it's it's the downside of early picking Malphite. You play into a AP team, right, with Cho'Gath and Teemo, so the AP top side. You can't really build uh, your Mythic first item because it only gives armor. 
And we see Timji going for a play solo on top, which looks... Uh, does he have doomed. enough damage? Doesn't look like Phase Rush is being frocked. Uh, also teleported by Vohir. But I don't uh, think Vohir they're gonna die. Up soon. Shuxi doesn't look like he's... This looks like a kill though, because Vohir has ulti in like 3 seconds. He has ult real soon, um, there is no follow-up yet. Zed is rotating towards top lane too. Uh, they're too tanky and they're getting poked out by Teemo Chogath. Oh, Zed misses the WE. Doesn't get any damage. Is oh. it gonna be a dive? Ooh. Oh. Actually, oh. actually, he goes in first and the shutdown goes to Timzy. Now, Nunult doesn't do enough damage. Uh, Chogat still survives and now bot lane. The dives that we were expecting. Couple more tower shots are being sucked by... Uh, Cosmic Radiance, but a double kill for CBS top la <laughs> bot lane. Oh, it's, it's, it's rough. It's rough. Yeah. It's now a 8k, 8, 8k or it's 8k gold lead. And um, at 12 minutes. Yeah, it's, it goes to show why CBS was the number one team in the league, right? Um, Teemo Jungle, the team comp is very the, off. The, the, the triple book. shadow doesn't land, and there's not enough damage just yet. And Kryanas, he survives through the ult and through the ignite. Uh, it's maybe smart to look at the gold differences in the laners here. Um, we see Nyla being a whole 2k ahead of Zaya and uh, Cho'Gath a 1.6k ahead of the Malphite. So that's where the gold lead is in this game. Mid lane has a 700 lead. And uh, support has a 800 gold lead as well. And Troglodyte is just sneaking dragon. Trying and to they, stop the dragon tagging. Yeah, and they, they are going to take it. But is it going to help them? Because once we hit Baron timer, I have no idea how Troglodytes are going to contest that. Mm. Because yeah, now, now look, for here is going to die. Okay, he might not die just, just yet. Queue? And now, again, play in bot lane, but there is nothing that Troglodytes can do except run. This looks like uh, desperation uh, here, Timzy being like, I need to get plays done, right? Because my laners are so behind. So he's trying to get stuff done around the map. They get the dragon, which is good, because now you don't have to fight for that dragon later on. Well, you can take this one for free, but... Yes, he, he, they, they can skip. Um, tower is not going to fall just yet. Oh, oh, the stack! Yeah, this... Another stack. Actually, one thing worth mentioning that uh, in top lane, the gold lead is a bit bigger than it actually shows, just because of uh, of the stacks on on R on E. Yeah. And the uh, ult used on Tarek, but that's a three v two, and being behind, it's not the thing you want to do. Another dash in by Nyla, and Timo gets the kill while his bot laners. I'm sorry, well, Nunu's bot laners have to just hide behind tower. It's... it's oh, not Zed, there to help. Zed wants blood, one auto, E, will he R instantly? Oh, will the triple shadow land? The triple shadow lands, but he was knocked a bit away. One more auto, oh, flash by Kriana said the shadow flash. doesn't land. Misses the team mushroom as well, so it doesn't oh, die. Zed flashed, Zed flashed over wall just, just now and he's trying to chase. Now Cosmic Radiance, dash in the stun, and there is nothing that Biscuit Holly can do. Heal was just used, but no Feather Storm means he's dead. And here is Malphi trying to solo Zed. The slow doesn't land, but the shadow keeps Zed alive. Uh, it's... It's the uh, thing about the Nyla lane, right? That once Nyla is ahead with the Tarek, you can't lane. You can't even sit on the tower. And she gains experience so much, she's second highest level in the game as an AD carry. Uh, yeah, the I mean, oh, one v two. She does. She doesn't have mana, but they do not have enough damage now. Tarek comes. Tarek she'll here, rock. She'll go oh, and, now, and now instead of one v two, it's a three v two and double kill for Nyla. She is eight and two with five hundred, uh, seven hundred gold shutdown bounty. Uh, it's, uh, this is Zeeb, where, yeah. This is where I want to ask you a question. How do troglodytes win this game? You flip a baron and you get your objective bounties. That's the only way I see it happening, right? Where you have these objective bounties now, you have to try and cash them, right? We have uh, Rift Herald should be spawning relatively soon. Um, you need to get money, and you need to get it into your Talia and into your Zaya, and basically 
Sentry's high in mid lane. She has no tower. Talia... Yeah, Talia, well, is gonna, Talia is gonna die. Okay, key. That was right on time, but you want to funnel your uh, your gold into those two carries. I think at this point you start giving camps as well. Because there's no way they can get money in lane. And, uh, well, avoiding fights like this is also your best bet. Oh, um, another challenger appears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's like Super Smash Brothers. You beat one, oh. you beat one player, and then you get uh, approached with another challenger that you can unlock. But oh, another feather storm. Will it be enough to save his life? Yes, he can escape for now. Another knock of plans. This this is gonna be a solo double kill, or is it gonna be Zed who's picking up the double? I think there's a roam. Oh, but that's a good ulti. I believe that was not his ulti. So oh. yeah. The flip, but the damage is just not there. The Z comes back. Oh, Zanya Sourglass just right on time and shutdown. Will it be claimed by King Timzy? Uh, not yet. Couple more autos. No, the phase rush. He's just too fast and too furious and too unkillable. Chogat is 10 on 1. While we're speaking about Nyla, Chogat is taking over. Well, speaking of Nyla, they took tier 2 tower. In, t uh, in bot lane. Another hook lands into a minion. And, uh, she's gonna 1v2 them under tower, I think. Uh, Little Sparrow has his ult. I mean, now the game looks really dire. Um, winnable, uh, I don't know if you know the, the meme, where they go like, is this game winnable? Um, it seems highly unlikely. Top lane super fed, bot lane super fed. You're gonna drop mid tower now as well, which gives so much pressure. It's... um. As if there wasn't enough pressure already. Yeah, it's you're just being put into a chokehold, and uh, you're just trying to gasp for air at this point. And, uh, well, that's Ooh. another dive. Half HP nom. The wow. eats are unreal. Yeah, I know. I don't think he's eating dinner anymore. He's just having an all-you-can-eat buffet at his hotel. Huh. Yeah, that's actually true. And oh, the hook lands, but is it what you really want to do? Cosmic Radiance is gonna click on three. One more kill. Now Malphite has to flash away. And actually, Chogath can stand there, and there is no one that can kill him anytime soon. I and think the. It's oh, the old. Is it gonna be enough damage, but the shields are just enough? And yeah, Malphite lives too. Okay. He just had enough armor. I yeah, know. We also saw Nyla solo kill Zaya, so that's another right. kill into her pocket. Now we have the second dragon claim for CBS. It's rough. Zaya has her mythic. Maybe Kraken Slayer would be better because there's so much frontline that you're auto attacking, but you do need a dash to survive. Oh my. Um, I, I think she's trying to get everything she can to survive, but there is no survival options when there is Zed diving you, there is Nyla diving you on top of, uh, you know, all Tarek's abilities uh, stretching from Nyla, so it's it's just too difficult to play even as Zaya who has target ability and Gale Force. I also want to point gonna out... Be, it's gonna be a nom, it's gonna be a nom. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> How many stacks does he have right now? Oh, dashing mm -hmm. forward, maybe it's uh, a dash. kill? Ah, no, they're, they're too tanky. They're too tanky, and yeah. Nautilus ult doesn't land. Zed dodges it with his ult, and double kill for aforementioned Zed. Did not yet. Oh, it's a surrender. Effect. Wow. What a surprise. It's <laughs> sad to see a surrender uh, here, but it's not like you can always fight against a surrender. And that brings CBS up to 1 mil in the series, uh, quite convincingly as well. They stomped it. Yeah, they, they played that really well. Um, yeah, I'm kind of speechless because I knew CBS was good, but... It, it was fine until it wasn't. Yeah. As it appears. So what do you want to do differently if you're troglo troglodyting game 2? Where did it go wrong? Um, hmm. Let's think for... Well, first off, I think just more i would say chill on bot lane especially when you are a level behind because the first trade started while nautilus was still level one mm -hmm. and uh cbs bot lane was level two already at that time 
and uh, he still tried to hook. And what was the worst part of that? That he hooked a minion. So you know, not that only he doesn't land his hook, he has nothing else to offer. You yeah, Bolin uh, trades did not uh, go super well. Uh, yes, and uh, I can't remember the draft. No, oh, N Nyla Tarek was picked after. Uh, yes, uh, indeed. After uh, Nautilus, because Nautilus basically he cannot proc passive on Nyla, and if she times it well, uh, his passive goes on cooldown for her. So once the dodge is gone, he still cannot root her with the auto because it was used before. So oh um, so uh, Trouble Dice have decided to forfeit the series. So um, they mental boomed. It was a bit of a mental boom. Now I need to go find someone to interview. Then let me just quickly go to general. Um, uh, oh, CBS. Anyone wants to do the interview? That was short. Um, oh, it was fast. It was fast. Yeah. That, um, well, uh, uh, then. then Zed is going to come to the interview. Um, that was a, uh, or, yes, oh. hello there, Zed. <laughs> that was hello. fast. Um, did you guys prep for uh, this uh, this draft, or where did the team come from? Uh, we all we're just still a bit uh, cooling off from uh, uh, last game because that was dominant. Yeah, uh, the Teemo pick. I mean, our jungler has just been wanting to play Teemo the entire season. He just keeps constantly asking for Teemo, so we had to give it to him. Um, that's the Teemo pick right there. He's yeah, he's really annoying. I just I just love Teemo in, in jungle. He just puts mushrooms everywhere, messes up the other enemy team. But uh, in this game, in, in, in this game, did you really need those mushrooms to litter the map? Um, I mean, it doesn't hurt, does it? <laughs> it doesn't, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, we checked their op.ggs. We fan champs that they played. I I really wanted to pull out the Kiana, but when I saw the Tilia get picked. Yeah. Gotta pick Zed. Uh, uh, when was the moment in the game where you said to one another, like, okay, game is over, GG's? When um, was it? Uh, in draft, I think. <laughs> wow. Nice. So that's, that's when, once we got then. the Nyla, Nyla, Tarek, bot lane, I think, yeah. Into a pretty much all in comp. I mean, it was really good drafting, I think. Yeah, it's just. Uh, I... I mean, that draft seems very off the book, right? Especially with Teemo and then like double AP top side and then AD bot side with Nyla Z, right? Uh, Eric? Seems the yeah. Eteric, yeah, but Zed being the mid lane, right? Oh, so yeah, your, yeah, yeah. your map is split in terms of damage. That, it, sound, it, it would seem difficult to execute, but you guys just rolled with it and played individually just better. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got some nice roams off. That was good. Yeah, nice, uh, nice pickup. Some pocket change at one point because you guys were too fed. Yeah, man, I I miss some of those some of those ults on the Talia. Man, I hope you guys did not see those. Oh, uh, yeah, we saw I plenty of them. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, <laughs> we we saw most of them. I guess we didn't see the first one. Uh, yeah. Okay, to to tell us about the ults we didn't see and you wouldn't want us to see. Um, oh, there was one where she was pretty much under my tower, and I, like, I got my second shadow eye, I ulted, and I missed every single shuriken except for the one I was standing right on top of. And then, yeah. I think, I, I, th I, th I think we saw that. Or, or oh, maybe... the one where she flashed over the wall after I flashed after her, and she left, lived with one HP? Yeah, oh, we, yes, we saw, yes, we saw, we saw that, that one. She almost walked into a team mushroom as well at one yeah, point. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Oh. No, I, I think you saw all my fails then. Well, then there there wasn't too much of them, I feel like. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, no, it's uh, so you're undefeated, um, this split, and you end undefeated. 
Was this yeah. expected uh, when you started out the split? Did, were you uh, guys... No, I, I don't think so. I I think it all started because uh, Lipsy, his usual teammates, didn't um, weren't able to play, so we just got called in to play. And uh, I don't think we expected anything. We just played every week. I mean, I, I'm the substitute. I was so happy I got to play today. I wish we got to play a second game. Um, but that, that that's, that's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Well, you have three weeks until uh, the second split starts, and you have plenty of scrim time as well to prepare. Yeah. Do you think it will be just as uh, dominant uh, next split when you guys play? Or are you expecting it to go more rough uh, I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see. See what happens. Well, yeah, then uh, if Win does Winchester have any more questions? Uh, or uh... I think that, that that was quite a short and quick game, so not much of content to ask for, honestly. Well, I think about GG's content for your highlight reels. <laughs> yep. So I guess right. uh, GG's and congrats on perfect split. Yep, it's perfect oh, split already. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, perfect split. Well, we, we dropped one game, but we won all the series. So. Yeah, series you, wise. But only support def, right? That'd be you in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a fun series to watch. Anyway, that was it then, I think, for us. Thank you very much for uh, joining us on the, uh, the interview. Thank yeah. you guys at home for watching. Um, sorry we couldn't bring the full series, but. Unfortunately, when games like this happen, it is fair to forfeit the series. Uh, well played, and yeah. to troglodytes, uh, it is it is a respectful choice to play this out and try your best. Uh, of course, CBS being dominant. That was it. I'm not going to ramble on for too much. Yep. See you guys. See you. See you. And uh, shall I end the stream here then? Uh, yes, yes. Thanks everyone for watching and see yeah. you again sometime I'll soon. See you for the next game tomorrow. Bye bye.